As we prepare to share communion together, I invite you to pause the video if you need to do so in order to get yourself something to eat and something to drink. Welcome. In the hours before his death on the cross, Jesus knew his disciples would find themselves grief-stricken. He wanted to give them something that would be a sign of their connection. So when they were sitting at the table together, Jesus said to them, here, do this. By sharing this meal together, we will always be connected. We will always be together. No force, not angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything, nor life, nor death, nor COVID, no powers could separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So on this Christmas Eve, we are not all together in the sanctuary. You might be in a house by yourself, just watching church on the computer. And I know it is just not the same. If you are feeling uneasy, if you are feeling more alone than you want to feel, you are not the only one. Communion was made for exactly this moment. Communion is an act defying the forces that keep us apart. So even though we might be separated from each other physically, even though we might be separated from our loved ones who have died, communion is our vivid insistence that we harbor a deeper spiritual connection. So now whoever you are and wherever you are on life's journey, you are welcome at this table. Whoever you are and whenever you are watching this video, if you are joining in sharing communion, you are sending out a pulse of love and that strengthens our connection across the internet that unites the church in every time and place. Let us pray. O oh, holy God, we bless you. We ask your blessing on this communion. You come into the world to go with us and you keep on breaking the boundaries that divide. You show us how death can turn into life Violence can turn into peacemaking. Grieving can turn into dancing. And our feeling alone and apart can turn into this act of remembering. It can turn into this, our communion with you. We bless you and we ask your blessing upon us all, wherever and whenever we are gathered. Hear our prayers, O holy God. Amen. And so we join Christians around the world in remembering the night when Jesus sat at table with his disciples, trying to answer their grief. And on that night, Jesus took bread. After giving thanks, he broke the bread and he gave it to his disciples saying, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Whatever it is that you have to eat, let us take and eat as a sign of the body of Christ. In that same way, after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this cup is the new covenant poured out in my blood. As often as you drink of it, do this in remembrance of me. Now, whatever it is that you happen to have to drink in your home, 
Let us drink now as a sign of Jesus' forgiveness. Together, let us share the prayer we learn from Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen.